Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between the banking and trading book. So this is important to understand if you're working in banking, in treasury, uh, or risk management in banking and so on. So it's important to understand the differences between these you know, two categories. So, so what are the features of banking book and what are the features of the trading book and how are they different? Okay, so banking book is all about uh, you know lending and and borrowing that's what it all all about whereas a trading book is all about the market transactions so you are basically trading in the market so there is a subtle difference between these two types of sort of transactions so the philosophy behind banking book is that simply buy and hold and you get money through interest okay so that's the philosophy in banking book Whereas in trading book, it's all about trading, right? Trading, uh, as, a, as the definition, is not about buying and holding the asset. It's about uh, not holding the asset when you can actually make quick money, right? So there is some difference between the philosophy behind these two. Um, and then there is a difference between the way uh, you do the accounting of the assets, okay? So in banking book, you have book values of the assets. Okay, so for the loans, uh, the commercial or little loans you have uh, uh, lent out, so you actually get uh, the book value of these assets. Okay, whereas in trading book, all the assets uh, the tr for the trading instruments are marked to market. That means it could change over time. Okay, and change quite rapidly based on uh, the situation in the market. It depends quite a lot on what the, situ uh, what the current market situation is. And so what we mean by mark to market is, is that the, the, the asset values depends on the, the market situation and it could frequently go up and down. And then in a banking book, the profit is totally dependent on the interest. Okay. So it's very interest driven. So there is a change in the interest rate. Uh, you know, it could affect your uh, earning quite a lot. So it's quite uh, interest inter interest uh, sensitive, okay? Uh, and therefore you have the interest rate risk there. Whereas uh, in trading you have, uh, earning depends on the mark to market value of the traded instruments, okay? If it goes up, then you make money. Um, and if it goes down, then chances are that you, you lose money from that. Um, there is no market risk in in the in the banking book assets and whereas there are market risk there's some there's obviously market risk because uh, in trading it's all about uh, playing in the market so it's quite sensitive to the situation in market so there is a uh, market risk uh, the assets in banking book are less cross-border they're more local most of the times whereas in trading book you actually trade with uh, Across border parties, you know, institutions from across the border or across or outside of the country, outside of the territory where the bank is operating in. So there is also a difference there. So you do more cross-border transaction uh, in the in the assets, the trading book. So these are some of the fundamental differences between the uh, banking book or the assets in the banking book and assets in the trading book sites. Thank you.